Tubas, you tubas. Oberg here. Oberg here with a, another nice tin opening. Some Dunbar from the same age as the uh, Tilbury opened the other day. And uh, going to do a VR to Oh, Izzy. Look on to him. Look on to him. The lucky. The happy go lucky Piper. The happy go lucky Chucher is what I like to call him. Oh, Izzy. He's a good fella. Look on to him with that 320. Izzy's a real nice guy. He loves the community. He loves his pipes. He loves the tobacco. He's a good cook. I like watching Izzy's videos. Go sub him. Go sub on to Izzy. We're going to do a VR uh, to him <clears throat> here in just a minute. I'm going to pause it just for a second, and I'll be right back. All right, tubers, I'm back, and... Uh, We'll go ahead and do the uh, VR. What uh, Izzy wants us to, uh, the VR to be about is to be about uh, a little bit about herself. Well, I'm Berg, old Berg. My real name is Todd. You can look me up on Instagram, Elmore Todd, on Instagram. Uh been married for 32, 32 wonderful, 31 wonderful years, going on 32. To the wonderful Miss Rhonda. Uh, got three kids. I got a daughter and two sons. They're grown. Got three granddaughters. And uh, I live in Adams, Tennessee. I love the YTPC. I love, I love collecting a few pipes and a little bit of tobacco. <laughs> and uh, just love the community and what it offers. I've met a lot of people. And people have given me gifts and just, uh, I can't believe people are that generous in the world. And the YTPC has, uh, has opened my eyes and uh, let me know that there is a lot of great folks out there. And you don't have to give me something to, to make me realize you're a good person. There are people that are, are really worried about your health or, or what's going on or what you need or, you know, uh, I've seen this community pull together so many times for different things that uh, it just amazes me. If one of us is down, we're, we're all right there ready to pick him back up and dust him off. And uh, there's a few times that it, that it didn't work out, but, you know, we've always worked through it and uh, just a great, great community. How I lucked up on it and found it, I'll, I'll never know, but I hate that I lurked so long. I was a lurker for so many years. Uh, what a waste, but I wish I'd have jumped in. I just didn't know people were that, uh, would, it, was, would, would be that accepting to somebody new, you know? And uh, to all the lurkers out there that are worried about not being accepted in the community, uh, it may take a while to get to know everybody. I still don't know everybody. But you'll definitely, definitely be worth your while. And uh, you'll feel like you're a part of something almost immediately. So get in there and do it, is what I say. And, uh, yeah, he wants us to tell us a little bit of a, a miracle that's happened in our life. Uh, I've had so many miracles in my life, it's... Uh, Hard to write them all down. One miracle, uh, and I know I've said a lot about my marriage, but uh, it's something I'm proud of. Uh, I don't know too many people still married to the same woman that they went to high school with, and uh, from my generation, and uh, we, we've Rhonda and I have worked with worked on it, and uh, we've made it happen, and uh, really proud of that. And I think it's a miracle this day and time to stay together. That's a small miracle, and uh, yeah, I think it's a miracle every day I wake up and get to enjoy another day. Uh, a lot of people take it for granted. I do not. Uh, I, I, I appreciate every moment I have with my family and wife and grandkids and just, uh, yeah, life is wonderful. 
So I think it's a miracle every time I open my eyes in the morning or in, at night or whenever I happen to wake up, my eyes are weird and find out that I've been blessed with another day. So there we go. And then I think he wanted us to maybe shout out a few people that, uh, you know, in the community. Terry Penn, Terry Penn Piper. Scott, he's a good one. Go watch his channel. He just He's doing a golf. And and he's not doing a VR, and I want to shout him out. Go go check his guy out. All you got to do is 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 comment I'm in, and you're in. You can't be a lurker. If you're a lurker, you got to make a video and say I'm in. But uh, he wants you to make some videos. So go check out Terry Penn Piper. He's giving away a 320. Go check his channel out. He's a great guy. Really think a lot of him. Go check out Treetop Piper. He's a newbie. He he's got over 200 subs, but he's a newbie. Go check out Standard Texan. Great guy, Corey. Talked to him on Boxer. Just uh, loves the hobby. Loves being a part of it. Got some great, great content. Go check him out at Standard Texan. Go check out the Mod Piper. Awesome guy. Got some of the best mods going on with the Cobbs. He's, he's talented. Just really enjoy his channel. And just a dang good guy. Go check out Ben. The bagpiper, he's my buddy. Go check him out. And uh, go check out my, my good buddy, Izzy. I just met Izzy during during my giveaways. He came in and, uh, yeah, I got to find his channel because he subbed to me and I subbed to him. And uh, really glad I did, you know, I've got, to, I've got to sub to a lot of people doing my giveaways for uh, Salam. And it's really, really helped me uh, get new subs and find find those new subs. When somebody subs me, I sub them back and go check them out. Yes, I do. Go check them out. But any words? Yeah. Any words? I want to let everybody know. Let's do a little bit of uh, housekeeping. Sipping on a little water. And a little OMS coffee for its mighty, mighty good. Oh, yes, it is. Dipping a little Copenhagen right now, drinking coffee and dipping Copenhagen. Probably ain't good for me, but always got some kind of banky going on. Uh, this is a hard case. I bring some pipes sometimes when I bring multiple pipes, and I don't want to get them banged up. This is a... Dagner, I wish Dagner would go back to making some of these really, really nice. They, no, not if their pipes aren't nice. I just, I'm talking about just standard. They've got, they've got the Elegant series now that's just awesome. This, this series here was a P5 series, 2015. Really like this series. I got the Ants. I've got this one. I've got the Bulldog. Uh, just really like collecting this series right here. I missed out on these uh, when I came in. I just wanted to show a few billiards I got. Another billiard here. I showed I showed one of these. I showed an OG with a green top on it the last video. This is the original pipe that he come out with. This is one of the first pipes I bought. May have been the first pipe other than a gray bow that I bought. I have really, really put this joker through the test the last two and a half years I've had it. I have took it to work. I have took it fishing. I have had it everywhere I go. This is another, this was a, this was supposed to be an ants. And I was, <laughs> it hurt my feelings when I got it because I said it wasn't an ants, but they called it an ants. It looks more like an apple. It's not tilted like the ants, but it's a beautiful pipe. He said I could send it back or and he'd give me something else or I could keep it. And I, I kind of fell in love with it. That taupe colored stem. Uh, it's really awesome. Diamond shank. And now that I got it, wouldn't trade her for nothing. Got my Ladon Mott tamper out tonight. Going to be chooching a little bit of capstan. Going to be opening the old tin of Dunbar. And I also brought some... Uh, Brought some, uh, 
brought some of that good tilbury that I opened up the other day on video and some of the good special out of kid that I opened up the other day on video. That's what I got going on. Let's pause it and get set up and we'll do a 10 open. All righty. A lot of people ask me, how do you know how old a 10 is uh, when it don't have dating or any barcodes or anything? Well, you got to trust who you buy it from, for one thing. And the guy said it was between six to nine years old and somewhere in there. And I've had it two years, so I've been guessing it about eight. And these new tins are not quite as gold looking. And the top's a little different here. And it's a little different on the bottom. And you can sort of tell how scratched up a tin is. But if you're buying it from somebody online or something, it's hard to tell. But you just got to kind of trust who you're buying it from. Got me a jar set up here, for, ready for it. Find that sweet spot in the tin. Let's see if we can get up here and listen to it. I heard it. I hope you did. Mm. This tin is every bit as old as he said it was. You can tell by how dirty that paper is. That this is at least a, I'm going to say a six to maybe an eight-year-old ten. Oh my goodness. A plummy. Wow. Kind of like uh I see a little bit of uh white right there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me Yeah. This right here, oh look. Oh wow. Look, I'm do it. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely. And you can tell that that tin has some age on it. Look at that rust around it. Really glad I opened it. I think sometimes you can leave tobacco in a tin too long. I see some plume right there. There, you can see it. Some more plume on that right there. It's lovely, folks. Just lovely, lovely. A little plume inside there. Looks like whatever that dark is. Maybe some perique. It's got some lots of plume on it. This tobacco feels so nice. So nice. Wow. I wish you could smell it. I'm going to say it's every bit of eight years old. I will be chewing some of this tobacco. No. This is a, it looks like kind of a, a flake. A broken flake that's been I don't know if it's been pressed or if it's just stuck together that good from being in the tin. But you can see plume just all over that right there on the edge. And here on the bottom. Not eat up with plume, but if you could just smell this. Wow, I can't wait. I almost traded this off to uh, James, Yorkshire Posse. He uh, he likes the vapors and I don't. This may change my mind. And he talked me into opening this. He said, you know, he said, I'll trade you for it. But he said, you ought to keep it and open it and try it. And uh, he said, because, you know, a lot of times when you revisit tobaccos, uh, they uh, it always seems to be better. But. I know uh, I know you can see that little bit of plume on some of it, just all the way around it. Just a beautiful old tin of tobacco. You see that tin's been around a long time. So 
if you're buying if you're buying tobacco just know your dealer most of the time they'll be straight with you they don't want to ruin their name if they're selling a lot of tobacco know them get to know them find somebody that knows them Try to leave it together, just stuff it in there like that. <laughs> oh my, look at this! Look at the look at the white on that. Let's look onto it. Oh my, this beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. I want to thank everybody for watching my video. If you stuck around for this, thank you. And I'm going to do a review on the Tilbury. I've got an old thing of, of Margate that I'm going to open too from that same, that same distributor that I got this from. Uh, he's not selling anymore right now, but any words. He ain't the only one. I've got some more tobacco I'll be opening. Tubas, YouTubers, thanks for watching. Go sub Ig Izzy and go do a VR for him. He's a great feller. Peace to everybody. Be good to one another. Go sub some of these guys. And everybody keep on chooching. I'm Berg, and I'm out.